Good morning, family. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come boldly into thy throne, O God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you, my Father, that you are the one who works all things together for our good. Good morning, family. Rababa shika sianda rabus. Rekebe shiku rabasianda rabus. Rababa shika sianda rabaseki asanda rabasenti. Rekebe shiku rabasianda rabaseki asanda rabasen. Rababa shika sianda rabaseki asanda rabasen. Rababu shiku rabasianda rabaseki asanda rabasen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Family, come, let us enter his gates. Let us enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come on in, let us enter his gates. Let us go in together with thanksgiving. Let us praise him. Let, let his courts be filled with praise. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we have come as your people who are called by your name to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have come, O oh God, because you said where two or more are gathered in my name, where I am in the midst. Lord God Almighty, we are coming into your presence, O oh God. We are coming into your presence, O oh God, knowing that you are there with us, O oh God. Father, you are that spirit, the spirit of the living God, that where two or more are gathered, as we enter thy gates with thanksgiving, thy courts with praise, O oh God. We thank you that you are in our midst, O oh God. You are in our midst, my Father. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We give you all the glory and the praise, my God. Good morning, family. Happy birthday, Kani. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, my Father, that you are high and lifted up. We thank you, O oh God, that there is no other God like you. We thank you, my Father, that you are high and lifted up. We thank you that you have given us life and life in abundance. We thank you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that there is no other God like you, that you are high and lifted up. Father, we come into your presence to exalt the name of Jesus. We come into your presence, O oh God, to magnify the name of Jesus above everything else, O oh God. We have come to magnify the name of Jesus above our desires, O oh God. We have come to exalt the name of Jesus high, for there is no name, my God, above this name. Father, we have come to exalt Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your Son. We thank you, O oh God, for the sacrifice that he took for us. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor, the adoration oh god we thank you for the blood that was spilled for us oh my father there are people my god in this hour they are entering your gates with thanksgiving to say father we thank you we honor you we glorify you oh god that we slept we woke up in peace my father we slept we woke up my father you oh god you fought our battles we slept we woke up my father in joy Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, good morning, family. Rababa shiko sianda rabase, rekebe shika sianda rabo shekia sanda rabase, rababa shekia sanda rabase. My heart, come, let us rejoice. Re speak to your heart this morning. The Bible says they worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. Speak to your heart, command your heart this morning. My heart, enter the gate of God with thanksgiving. My heart, remember that we. 
which God has done for us. My heart, submit to the Lord Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the Holy Spirit of God that helps us in our weaknesses, my Father. We thank you that we can come into your presence, my God, and be our truest selves, my Father. Before you, there is nothing hidden. Even before we pray, my Father, you have already heard us, my God. You already knew, my Father, the things that were in our hearts. For you, O oh God, you are the one who weighs the motives, my Father. You are the one, my Father, who searches the heart of God. Father, as we come into your presence, my God, we thank you that you are purifying us, my Father, that we might be able to stand before your glory. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that as we enter the gates, my God, that you are inhibiting our praises, my God. Father, let it be that when the angel that is holding incense so god when it enters your throne together with our prayers so god that oh my father you hear sweet things my god coming from the abundance of our hearts my father that indeed we are grateful oh god father in the name of jesus we give you the glory my father let it be that when you open that pot of incense my god that contains our prayers my father what brings you joy my father is what brings you pleasure it pleases you oh god that there is a people in your courts my father giving you praises oh god Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rababasha Kasian Rabasin, Rekebe Shikora Basian Rabasin, Rababashi Kora Basian Rebasin, Rakabashi Kosian Rabba. For there is joy in your presence, O God. Father, we have come, my Father, to jubilate, my God. We have come, my Father, to be excited in thy presence. We have come to dance, my God, in thy courts. Rakaboshi Kora Basian Rabos, Rekebe Shikasian father in the mighty name of jesus oh my god we have seen in your word my father that when a people enter the courts of the king my god when a people my father begin to enter the courts of the king lord god almighty when it pleases the king my father there is nothing that the king withholds from his people that he said ask me for whatever you want i will even give you half of my kingdom father in the mighty name of jesus lord god when a man has reached the heart of the king my father Father, we have come to touch the heart of the King. Lord God, let our praises touch your heart, O oh God. Let our praise, my God, touch your heart, my Father. That there is a people that are thankful in this hour. There is a people that are full of gratitude, my God. There is a people that are establishing your word, my Father. That, oh God, we will rejoice always, my God. Because you are with us, my Father. We will rejoice always, my God, for your promise promises are yes and amen unto the glory of God by us father we will give thanks in all circumstances because we know that you are able to do my God exceedingly abundantly above all that we dare to ask or think because you are able my father to change our situations you are able oh God to make my father what was for mourning for happiness you are able my God to give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Family, let us pray. Enter the gate. Enter the gate with thanksgiving. Enter the gate with praise. Enter the gate with joy. Enter the gate that my father, today, my God, you sustained me. When I thought I wouldn't make it in this day, I didn't even think, my father, I will see this day. But oh, you, oh God, you fight my battles. You go before me to level down mountains, to break down gates of bronze, cut down bars of iron, my God. Oh, Father, there is no mountain you do not climb up for me. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, come family. Rababashika. Come and dance in the court of God. Come and please your father. Rakaboshika sianda rabase. Rekebeshika sianda rabase. Rababashiko rabas. Let this prayer be like music this morning. Let this prayer be like music in the ears of God. My father, I worship you. I've come to gaze upon thy beauty. May I never lose the awe, oh my God. May I never lose the wonder of who you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have come to submit myself to you, to see again, my God, the other part of you, my Father. Reveal to me, O God, because I know, my Father, that we stand before, my God, an inexhaustible God. We stand before, my Father, the one who creates from the Word, O God. We stand before, my Father, the one who knew us before we were conceived in our mother's womb. Oh, begin to dance in the presence of the living God. Begin to give the Lord God Almighty all the praise that he deserves. Sing your praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. Sing the praises to the Lord. Hallelujah. Sing your praises to the Lord. The people, my God, the ones that are not ashamed of you, my Father, they have come. Then the ones that know your benefits, the ones that were blind, but now they see, the ones that were in merry clay, my God, but now they are sparkling white, the ones, my Father, that you rescued out of death, Father, they have come in the mighty name of Jesus. The ones you have healed, my God, the ones you have shown your mercy, the ones you have shown your grace, my God, the people that are called by your name, my Father, they enter thy courts with praise, my God. They enter thy praise, my God, thy presence with a song. Father, we have come to gaze upon thy beauty because your word says when we look unto you, we are made radiant. We can never be put to shame, O God. Father, we remember in the name of Jesus, when a queen said to David, my father, why are you embarrassing yourself? Father, we have come to embarrass ourselves in your presence, O God. Father, we have come, my father, to make fools out of ourselves in your presence because we know that the wisdom of this world you have made it foolishness oh god father the ones you have loved they have come my father the ones you have shown mercy the ones that know your hand my god they have come to say glory be to the lord god most high the ones that know your benefits oh god the ones my father that know what you have done that you so loved us that you gave your one and only begotten son that whoever believes in jesus my god they can never be defeated whoever believes my father are the ones who overcome the world my god Father, we thank you that your word keeps us, my Father. We thank you that your word directs us, my God. We thank you that in you we live, we move, we have our being. We thank you that, my Father, though we falter, we do not fall, my God. Father, we thank you that in the place of prayer, my Father, there is no weariness, my God. There is no fainting, my Father, because to those that run, my Father, they do not grow weary. To those that walk, they do not grow faint. For Oh God, they hope in you, my Father. You are the renewer of our strength. Lord God, we have come to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, O God. Thy will be done in our lives. Thy will be done in our desires. Thy will be done in our businesses. Thy will be done with our children. Thy will be done, my Father, in our households. Thy will be done in our communities. Thy will be done in our nation. As it is in heaven, O God, let it be so in our lives, my Father. Thy will be done, my God. Thy will be done, my Father. Lord, we thank you for daily bread. We thank you for daily anointing, daily joy, daily peace, my Father. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that we are held by the living God. Father, that you, O oh God, you uphold us with your righteous right hand. The steps of the righteous, oh, my Father, we thank you that our steps, my God, they are ordered by you. Lord God, you are the one who gives wisdom and understanding. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we 
acknowledge you. Holy Spirit, we thank you for reminding us of the things that Jesus said, because we know that it is not by might, not by power, that there can be a remembrance of the word of God. Rabba, that is filled with power, the word that works in us, both to do and to will of his good pleasure. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Rababo shikasianda rabasin. Rebebe shiko rabasianda rabasin. Family, this morning, what is your scripture? Rakaba shiko rabasianda rabosa. Father, we thank you that when we trust in you with all of our hearts, we lean not on our own understanding. Father, when we acknowledge you, O oh God, we have seen you direct our path. You are sure to your word, O oh God. Your covenant is trustworthy. Lord God Almighty, the covenant of peace you have entered with us. Lord, we thank you that we have been living in that perpetual covenant, O oh God, in that perpetual peace, my Father. Father, we thank you, O God, that this is where we get fully armored, my Father, in the place of prayer, my God. This is where, my Father, you fully armor us, my God, in the place of prayer. Father, we give you the glory. My God, we give you the honor, the adoration, my Father. Everything, my God, everything in us, my Father, it submits my God under the obedience of Jesus father everything within us my God it submits to the Lordship of Jesus we bring everything my father our desires my God our will my father we bring it to submission of the Lordship of Jesus Lord God Almighty oh if God be for us who dares my father be against us if you be for us oh god father we thank you that today we are alive because the the darts of the fiery one my god that the fiery darts of the enemy they did not get to us not the terror by night oh god for you oh god you kept your promises we have come to oh my god to praise you we have come to honor you you are faithful indeed my god rababa we are missing nothing leaving nothing behind Behind, oh God. Father, when we looked at our lives, my Father, when we looked at our yesterday, we realized, my God, that you gave us the anointing yesterday. Lord, you gave us the power yesterday. Lord, you strengthened us yesterday. Lord God Almighty, you spoke to us here. Father, we thank you. Lord, we have come today again. We have come today again to draw from the well of wisdom. We have come today again to draw from the well of power. We have come today again, my God, to draw from the well of strength, my God. We have come today again to draw from the well of healing. Jesus. Rababo shika sianda rabos. Rekebe shiko rabasianda rabasente. If my people who are called by my name could humble themselves, pray and seek my face. I will hear them from heaven. I will answer them. I will heal the land. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty, I, the Lord, I guide you in the best pathways of your life. I advise you, I watch over you. I, the Lord, am the one who uphold you with my righteous right hand, that when you stumble, you do not fall. I, the Lord, am the one who love you. I, the Lord, am the one who knows the plan I have for you. They are plans of peace. They are plans of peace to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. Rababa shika sianda rabos. Rekebe shika sianda rabasent. Rebebe shiko siaraba shekia sianda rabasent. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Sweet Jesus, we love you. Father, we love you. We have come to love on you, oh God. Help us in our weaknesses. Oh, Holy Spirit, we enter thy office, Spirit of the living God. We have come into thy building because you are the one who helps us in our weaknesses. Teach us how to love God. Father, we have come for more of you. We have come that we might love you, my Father. We have come in the mighty name of Jesus. That, oh God, more love for you. More love for your presence. More love for your things, oh God. More love, my Father. More love, oh God. We have come 
time that you part father give us more love for the things of god more my god increase our capacity to love you oh god teach us oh god the true love teach us oh god true love my father teach us oh god jesus rababa shika siandarabusa Teach us how to stay in you, O God. Teach us, my Father, how to worship you. Teach us how is it that we are supposed to love you, O God. Teach us the way you want to be loved, my Father. Teach us the way you want to be revered, O God. Father, teach us. Teach us, O God. Teach us, O God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that you are in our midst, O God, for you said where two or more are gathered in my name, in the name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered in the name of Jesus. There he is in their midst. Father, let this be in our consciousness as we pray this morning that you are here, O God. Let this be in our consciousness, O God, that the living God is in our midst the living god is in our presence father i thank you my god you are high and lift. what joy we find in your court oh god what joy we find in your court oh god family in the mighty name of jesus as we are praying i've been seeing in the spirit that are people dancing i don't know why but Every time I keep praying, I keep seeing people dancing. So this is what we are to do today. When you have time in your lunch time, when you have time this morning, when you have time at any time this 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 afternoon, just put on a, a praise song and begin to dance in the presence of the Lord. Because I believe that God wants to release something. I keep seeing people dancing in the court of God. The joy, the joy in your spare time, in your secret place, when you are praising the Lord, when you are worshiping in your prayer altar, in your personal prayer altar this morning, this morning, as you get ready to go to the office, put on a praise song, a praise song that speaks to your heart and begin to dance in the presence of the Lord. This is what I'm seeing God show me that my people, as they praise in my courts, there is a supernatural release. You will return with testimonies. You will return with testimonies. Whether you are in your car, as you are driving to work, have that spirit of praise in you. Put on that praise song. Dance, clap hands, step on the floor as though you are in the court of God. Because he keeps showing me a people jubilate, a people so joyful. I keep seeing people being freed as they are dancing, as they are praising the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, O oh God, for that revelation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Good morning, family. I don't know what's happening today, but it feels like... It's almost like, a, a, you know, when you are celebrating something, but I just don't yet know what it is. But what I'm seeing is the Lord saying, let my people praise. Tell them to praise. Tell them to praise. Tell them to go and dance. Move your body however you can. Tell them to praise. Amen and amen, Frank. I love that. The walls of Jericho, the walls of Jericho, as you shout, as you dance, as you step, the Lord God Almighty says there is a release there. I saw it pleasing the Lord in the spirit as people were dancing in the court of God. So this afternoon, purpose it, be intentional about it. Put on that favorite praise song and begin to praise the Lord God Almighty with all your heart. Family, good morning. Good morning, family. This is day 14 of 100. Welcome. If this is your first time in this place, 
you are very much welcome this is the place where we pray the word of god this is the place where we believe in jesus this is the place where we magnify jesus above our troubles we magnify jesus above our joys we magnify we exalt the name of jesus above our frustration we exalt the name of jesus above our stresses above our worries when we come to this place we see only jesus we see only jesus only jesus thank you lord welcome to day 14. i cannot wait for the day we say welcome to day 100 of 100. oh lord you are faithful thank you father give us the strength of god family today we are going to take our scripture Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rababa Shika Siandarabus, Rakaba Shekia Sandarabasent. Family, today we are going to take our scripture from John chapter 5. John chapter 5, John chapter 5. We'll take it from verse 7. John chapter 5, verse 7. John chapter 5, verse 7. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, as we open the book that gives us life. Holy Spirit, as we open the book, as we open this book, as though Jesus is sitting right here with us, telling us these mysteries. Give us the light of the word. Let the seed of the word fall upon the good soil of our hearts. The good soil, my father, where the enemy will not steal it, where stress, worry will not steal and choke the word. Father, give us the light of your word. The light, oh God, the light of your word, revelations, mysteries, oh God. For you promised, my father, that we know that the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to us. Unlock, O oh God, unlock as we read your word, that we do not read it as though we are reading a novel, my Father, or another story, my God, but we read it as what Jesus did and what Jesus is still capable of doing. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we thank you for your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, Good morning, family. John chapter 5. John chapter 5, verse 7. Let me take this volume down. John chapter 5, verse 7. John chapter 5, verse 7. This is about a man at the pool of Bethesda. A man at the pool of Bethesda. Now, verse 7 says, Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is dead. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. The day on which this took place was a Sabbath. So the Jewish leader said to the man who had been healed, it is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, The man who made me well said to me, Pick up your mat and walk. That saith the word of the Lord. Blessed be the ears that hear the word of God. Family, this morning as I was reading the scripture, I want us to focus on verse 11. But he replied, But he replied, Actually, let's take it from verse 10. And so the Jewish leader said to, me, to the man who has been healed, it is the Sabbath. The law forbids you to carry your mat. Oh my God. The law forbids you to carry your mat. But he replied, the man who made me well said to me, pick up your mat and walk. The man who made me well the man who rescued me, the one who healed me, the one who made me whole, the one who said, I have given you life and life in abundance. The one who said to me, do not be afraid. I am the Lord your God made me well. 
The one who made me well. What did God do for you this morning that makes you that, that is illogical. That has no reason. There is no reason why you are alive today. But the one who made you well told you pick up your mat and walk. What is there that God has told you? What is there that God has promised you? That when you read his word, there are promises he has given to you. That you walk in the boldness and the power of the spirit. What is that empowerment that the Lord Jesus has given you? What is that empowerment that the Lord Jesus has given you? The one who has made me well. The one who rescued me out of the hands of the enemy. The one who took me out of darkness into his marvelous light. The one who told me I am a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Why are you not worried? Why are you not stressed? The one who told me, the one who made me well. I am looking for a people filled with faith this morning. The people that have seen the goodness of the living God, the people who know that this God is good, the people who understand that at his word, my God, at your command, my father, I will do it. It was Peter who said, the Lord, we have toiled all night, my father, we have toiled all night, but at your word, at your command, the one who made me well told me, pick up your mat and go. What is the Lord saying to you this morning? What is the Lord saying to you this morning? There is a scripture that you love so much. There is a scripture that always speaks to you in a situation. The one who told me, the one who made me well, the one who promised me that I will cover you with my feathers. My shield will be your shield. Why are you so confident as you are walking? The the one who gave me his shield, the one who gave me the sword of the spirit, told me, pick up your mat and go. The one who gave me the shield of faith, he said, do not be afraid, only believe. The one whom I told that my daughter is about to die, the one who woke me up from the dead, as Jesus entered the city, there was a funeral going on. That Jesus rose the boy up. This was the second miracle that Jesus did. Rababashi. Mary said to the people, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. Today, I want that scripture that you hold so dear to your heart to come alive in you. Because the one who told you that scripture, he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above that which he promised you. The one who told me, the one who made me well. It is the one, who, the one whose power is in his hands. The one who was able to make to i didn't have to jump into the pool of bethesda i didn't have to wait for the angel to come and stay the word the one who just told me pick up your mat and go oh i'm looking for a people this morning that are saying with the word at your word oh god at your word, my father, you said I must trust in you with all of my heart. I must lean not on my own understanding. I must acknowledge you, Lord God Almighty, at your word. The one who told me to trust him. They think you are going mad. They think you are going mad buying things for that house you are trusting God for. They think you are going mad going to look at, at cars you cannot afford. They think you are going mad as you are praying daily into that secret altar. They think you are going mad. But the one who made me well, the one who called me into his courts, the one who restored me, they said it is forbidden. Why are you carrying your mat? It is, it, is, it is forbidden. You cannot be walking like this when you are sick. But the one who told you, the one who made you well said, let the weak say I am strong. Therefore, I am getting out of this bed. Who, what are you doing? Why are you picking up your mat when you are so weak? What are you doing? The one who made me well. The one who made, what, oh my God. Remember his benefits. His promises are yes and amen unto the glory of God by us. 
his promises are yes and amen unto the glory of god by us Oh, the Jewish people said, it is forbidden. It is forbidden for you to carry your mat. These are the people that says, no, my sister, you cannot do that. You cannot be praying so much. No, what are you doing? Oh, these people, they are always praying. My father, the one who made me, you don't know where I come from. You don't know what I was experiencing. You don't know. But the one who made me well told me, pick up your met and go the one who made me well told me you are healed the one who made me well said cast your net again oh my father the one the one the lord jesus the lord jesus told me do it again at his command rack up you see me what they were not concerned about you being healed they are not concerned about you walking after 38 years of sitting in that pool begging people to push you over into the pool they're not worried they are worried about their laws they are worried about facts of this world they are worried about what it looks like in the world oh do not conform do not conform to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, remembering that the one who promised you is faithful to fulfill his promises. Oh, the one who made me well. It is the one who made me well who told me to pick up this mat. Rakab, they are concerned, Rababashika, about why you are still not suffering. They are, con my God, they are concerned about their laws. They are concerned about the truth of this world. They are concerned about the facts of this world. Oh, but there is the one, the Lord Jesus Christ, strong and mighty, glorious in all his ways Rabab, the bible says there is no name above this name that when this person this name Rab, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony the man at the pool of bethesda's testimony was that the one who made me well my brothers I hear what you are saying, that I'm not supposed to be walking because I'm sick. I'm supposed to stay in bed so that they can come and visit me and say, oh, shame. No, the one who made me well said, let the weak say I am strong. The one who made me well, he said, there is nothing good that is withheld from me. He has given me everything that pertains to life and godliness. The one who made me well, I will not wallow in this pity party. What was I supposed to do? Because it is the Sabbath, I was supposed to dishonor the word of God. Oh my God. I'm looking for a people this morning that will say, even if it does not make sense, if he said it, I will do it. Even if it does not make sense, if he said it, I will do it. Because he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. The one who made me well. They said, who is he, this one who made you well? He said, I could not be able to recognize him. Then he met him again. Oh, my father. Then Jesus said, see to it that you sin no more. And he went back to tell the very people who were asking him, who is it? He said, it is Jesus. Go back to that mountain. The mountain says, who is he who says, I must open up the gate? The Bible says, open, lift up your heads, you gates. Open the doors. Open, you ancient doors. Who is he who says, I must open? The king of glory, the king strong and mighty, you are ought to open. The one who told me, the one who made me well, said, pick up your mat and go. Pick up your mat and walk. My father, Rababoshi Kasiandarabosa. There was a Samaritan woman. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He said, I will give you water that will never run dry. He said, I will give you water that will never run dry. The one who gave me water, the one that out of my bellies is flowing rivers, the one. 
He said, I can give you water that never runs dry, that you will never become thirsty again. Blessed are the ones who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. The one who told me, the one who told me, Rababo shika siandarabosa. Rekebe shika siandarabase kia sandarabase. Rababase kia sandarabase kia sandarabase. Jesus. 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 There is a scripture in John chapter 4 where an official's son was dying. He comes to Jesus and says, My son is dying. Come now, my son is dying. Come, Jesus didn't have time at his word. My father, at your command, he said to the officials in John chapter 4, Go, your child will live. At his word, go, your child will live. What is that scripture that you are holding so dear in your heart? Rababo shika sianda rabosa. Mine is Jeremiah 33 3. Call to me and I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things. The one who told me, the one who made me, the one who is showing me great and mighty things, the one whom I trust. What is your word? The one who made me well told me, I will show you great and mighty things. What did the one who made you well tell you? What did the one who made you well tell you? He told me you are the head and not the tail. He told me that, oh, my father, your words will be like honey. Wisdom will be filled in your mouth. The one who made me well. The one who called me. What is your scripture? What is the, those words that come out of the mouth of God? Because the Bible says this word is heavenly breathed. God breathed upon this word. As people were writing, they were inspired by the spirit of the living God. This is the word of God. The one who made me well. The one in whom I believe. The one who gave me the word. The one who gave me the word. The one who made me well. The one who rescued me from the snares of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He told me, get up and walk. Pick up your mat and walk. I want you to see that the Sabbath, man was not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath for man. That's what Jesus said to the Pharisees. I want you to know that the Sabbath was made for men, not men for the Sabbath. The laws of this world were made for the men of this world. You are not of this world. You do not belong to this world. I want you to know that you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. The Bible says, they that are above are above all. You need to take your eagle position. In this hour, I need you to take your scripture, the word that the Lord has put in your heart, that word that is your favorite scripture, that word, I need you to put it into your heart and go and sit where you belong in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. He said, they that hope on me, they will soar on wings like eagles. You need that sight of an eagle to be above all. The one who made me well. Rababa shika siandarabuth. Father, we thank you for this word, O oh God. When we remember your promises, O oh God, we shout hallelujah because they are yes and amen unto the glory of God by us, my Father. When you say, cast your nets one more time, Father, at your word, O oh God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are have come to say, oh God, you, Lord Jesus, the one who has made us well. My Father, we testify of your goodness because this is how we overcome, oh God. We overcome by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony that the one who made me well told me to pick up my mat and go. And that's exactly what I did because that was the liberty that I needed. I did not consider that it is the Sabbath. I considered the words of the one that the, the things that he told me, I considered his words. I, I could not go against that power. I could not go against that word. The Bible says when the words leave the mouth of God, they do not return to him void. They must go to do what he sent them out to do. So at the words of Jesus, I could not, I could not, I could not 
I could not reject those words because they can never return to him void. Even if I did not stand up, the words were supposed to do what he sent them out to do. Pick up your mat and go. Even if I waited for the Sabbath, oh, Rabba Shaka Sianda Rabos. Oh, my Father, Jesus, what is your testimony this morning? That what is your testimony this morning? He has given you his word. He has, you need to walk in the manifestation of that word you carry in your life. You need to walk in that manifestation that I know the plans I have for you. That saith the Lord God Almighty. Walk like the person who God knows the plans for his life. Live like the person who God knows the plans he has for your life to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. You have a hope in God. Your life might look hopeless, but he said, I give you hope. Walk like the person who has hope, that when they begin to ask you, why do you walk with your shoulders so high, that you say, I know whom I have believed. I know whom I have be That is my testimony. I know whom I have believed. Though I'm hard pressed on every side, I am not crushed because the one I believe has spoken. When he speaks, it becomes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Rebebe shikoraba siandarabo sent. Rakaba shiko siandarebe sekia sandaraba sent. Verse 11, he replied. He replied. He replied. He said, You say the law says what? Let me tell you the higher law. Let me tell you the higher truth. The one who spoke to me, the one who made me well. I'm telling you higher truth. Your truth is that on the Sabbath, I should not be carrying my mat. I come to you with the truth that I sat on that pool for 38 years. You don't ask me how I'm standing up. You are asking me why I'm carrying the mat. Let me tell you higher truth. The one who made me well. Out of that 38 years, I sat on that pool. The one who made me well. The one who made me well told me at his word, I stood. At his word, I prospered. At his word, I'm victorious. At his word, I'm above only and never beneath. At his word, I am the head and not the tail. At his word, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. At his word, I can do all things. Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Rababa shi kasianda rabos. Rekebe shi kasianda rabasinti. There is a truth that makes facts look like lies. There is a truth. Its name is Jesus. There is a truth that makes facts of this world become lies. There is truth that makes the facts, the laws of this world become lies. There is the truth because he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. You need to believe, you need to get to a place where that scripture you so love so much comes to life. You must contend that the scripture you so love so much, you must contend that the light of that word becomes so real in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we must contend. That when we call to him, he answers us, he shows us great and mighty things. We must contend for the light of that word, that indeed we will see them in the land of the living, the great and mighty things, unsearchable things we do not know. We must contend for that light. We must not be people who are only memorizing scripture. But the scripture does not manifest in our lives. It must manifest to the place where we testify. The one who made me well, the one who made me well, told me, and at his word, I acted at his word. I, I walked on his word, at his word. He said, Peter, come, come on the water. He says, God, if it be you, Jesus, if it be be you call me to come he said come now the lord god almighty this morning is saying come you have believed me for that word for too long 
You have believed that I am the Lord your God. You have believed that you are sitting in the secret place of the Most High, that you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It is time to walk in the manifestation of that word as a person who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. It is time that you show that the Lord delivers you from the noisome diseases and from the enemy's traps. Get out of that bed. One step is enough and get back to bed. One step is enough to say, my God, the one who made me well, the one who made me well. There was a man who was very honest with Jesus. There was a man who was very honest with Jesus. He said before Jesus and said, I would like to see. Jesus took some spit, put it on the ground and put it on his eyes. And he asked him, do you see? The man didn't, didn't lie. He didn't say, I can see Jesus. He said, I see a bit blurry people as though they are trees. He touched him again. And he must touch you again and again and again until the word becomes a manifestation in your life. Until that word becomes very clear in your life life who you believe until that word comes to life that it is undeniable in your life you don't have to lie before his presence you don't have to lie before his presence you don't have to lie you can say father i've trusted you oh god i still am not there he will touch you again and again and again until you get to a place where you show forth the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light in this kingdom truth reigns he is the truth and he expects us to worship him in spirit and in truth he expects us to worship him in spirit and in truth you can come and say my father I felt something, oh God, but I still need more. I still need more. The one who made me well. What is your situation asking you this morning? What is your situation? Why are you acting like you have it all together? What is your situation asking you this morning? What is your mountain saying this morning? What is the enemy whispering in your ears this morning? You think you are better. You think you are it. Who do you think you are? You think they love you. You think, oh my God. Take up that word and say, the one who told me, the one who made me well, told me I am only above and never beneath. He told me I have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions. That is exactly what I'm doing. It might not look like anything. But the one who made me well told me I have the authority to trample upon the power of the enemy and nothing shall by no means harm me. The one I believe, the one who told me, I am above only, I am never beneath. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your word. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are amazing. Holy Spirit, you are amazing. You are amazing. We thank you for your prayers, Holy Spirit. We thank you for interceding for us. We thank you for moving, removing the scales from our eyes. We thank you for opening the eyes of our understanding that we see, O oh God, that the Sabbath was made for men, not men for the Sabbath. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we were made for signs and for wonders. We were made, my Father, to show forth the praises of the one who called us. Father, today, my God, we will dance in your presence as you release, my God. We will praise your name, my Father. We will dance as you have instructed, my God. And our testimony will be the one who made us well. The one who took us from the pit of hell. The one who rescued us from utter darkness. The one who rescued us from being slaves of the enemy. The one who rescued us from torture, torment, from infliction and afflictions. The one who rescued us, the one who made us well. That today we might not have all the things that the world deems as successful, but oh, we have, we have eternity in us. Don't you know that eternity is inside of you? That saith the word of God. I have placed eternity inside of you. 
I have placed eternity inside of you. My God, Father, Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. Family, let us close. It's time to command your day. Now that your word has come to life, now that that scripture you always held dear to your heart has come to life, command your day. Father, this day is for signs and for wonders. Father, in this day, my father, we are above and never beneath. In this day, we walk in the miraculous, the signs and the wonders, my God, that the world will begin to be amazed, my father. They will run to us for solutions, oh God. For, oh, my Father, we have come to be held as in a glass. The glory of the living God, my Father. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that no arrows that fly by day will get to us, my Father. The terror that comes by night will not come near our dwelling place. Lord God, where a thousand pagans are falling, a thousand unbelievers are falling, Lord God, a ten thousand on our right, my Father, it shall not come near us. Begin to speak. The power of life and death lies in your tongue. This is my day. The day that my father has made. Everything that calls for me to be glad in this day. Everything that calls for me to be happy. Everything that calls for me to be joyous. Everything that calls for me to be great. In this day, it locates me. It will not pass me by. Everything that calls for me to be successful in this day, every resource I need to better my life, to better the lives of people around me, every resource, whether it is money, it is time, whether it is destiny, help us. Lord, in this day, I receive it all, my God, for you have given me everything that pertains to life and godliness. My Father, you became of no reputation. You, you died poor, Lord Jesus, that I might become rich in this day I walk like a rich person because I am rich when Jesus has said it it is so father no witchcraft formed against us shall prosper father no 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 monitoring spirit shall come to confuse father no spirit, my Father, shall steal this joy. As we praise and worship you in this day, my God, we will be filled with joy unspeakable. Nothing, my God. Everyone who sits, my Father, in evil, having our name in their midst, fire upon every altar, O oh God. Speak to your day. Do not allow anyone else to come and speak on your behalf. Because if you do not speak, someone else is speaking your name and the things upon your life on your behalf. Father, my life, oh God, Ra all my needs are supplied, my Father. Nothing, my God, shall take us away from thy presence. Lord God Almighty, we thank you that this day it is blessed, O God. Mercy, goodness, grace, my Father. We are located in all of them, my Father. Lord, my God, we have no appointments with accidents, my Father. We have no, the blood of Jesus is applied everywhere for us, my God. Father, where they thought we will fall, the pits they have dug for us, my Father. They that dug them, they will fall in them. Father, as for us, my Father, we will not stumble nor fall because you are holding on to us. Father, we thank you for the joy of this day, that nothing will come and steal this joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bind everything that will try to come and steal the joy, my God, of the word that we have gotten. Every worry, every stress that will want to choke out this word. Father, let the word be amplified in our hearts, my God. Be magnified that the one who has promised me is able to fulfill. The Bible says, Abraham hoped against all hope that the one who has promised him in his old age that he will have a child, he who has promised will fulfill that promise. Father, we thank you that in this day we are confident of the results, my God, because we serve a God who does not fail. Father, we thank you. My God, we glorify you. Continue to speak over your life. Continue to speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, my children are secured. They are secured, my Father. My children are the light and the salt of the earth. My household, oh God, it is the portal of God where God can come at any time, anywhere, my Father. 
Father, oh my God, I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you need, oh God, if you need a hand, an arm, an eye, Lord God, if you need a blesser, my Father, in this life, my God, I avail myself. If you need someone to trust with your resources, Father, to take them to another place, Lord, we avail ourselves. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, we thank you. We honor you, we glorify you. Family, may the Lord bless you. Remember the one who has made you well. His word is above every other word. His name is above every other name. The one who has made you well. The one who gave you that word that's in your heart. The one that spoke to you, to your heart with that word that you hold so dear to your heart. He has spoken. The one who has made you well said to you, pick up your mat and walk. Begin to walk. Begin to walk in faith. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Walk. Walk in the manifestation of that word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Family, let us close. Father, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the grace to be obedient to his word, my God. The grace, my Father, at his command to pick up our mats and to walk. Father, we thank you for this grace. May the grace and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. Surely, goodness and mercy, they are following you all the days of your life. Dwell in the house. Dwell in the secret place. Dwell in him. In him we move. We live. We have our whole being. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Family, welcome if this is your first time. This is day 14 of 100. What the Lord is yet to still do, it blows my mind. Father, I thank you. Let us meet tomorrow again, 5 a.m. We are doing this. We are doing this, nor by might, nor by power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Remember five scriptures a day. It is a powerful thing that, that the Lord has given us. Five scriptures a day. Five scriptures a day. Remember to read the word as you are praising and worshiping. Praise and worship upon those words that God has promised. Because what God promised them, he still promises us now. Remember to read five scriptures a day. New Testament. We are on the book of John. Because it's day 14 today, we are finishing the book of John. Let us read the word of God. That's where our power comes from. That's where the Holy Spirit gets the, the, the leeway, the the the. What is it? The permission to work in our lives. The permission. When we read the word of God, when we are filled, when we are fed the spirit of the living God, he has something to work on. He has the word of God to work on, the solid foundation. So let us not forget to read our word. Let us not forget to read five scriptures a day. Meditate on that word. My father, what are you saying to me? For there is a word for us daily. There is a word for us daily. Um, yes, Maslati, um, as the Lord leads you, that's what I'm doing. But as the Lord leads you, as the Lord leads you, if the Lord leads you to a Daniel or Esther or dry for a few days and then another fast for another remaining 97 days, however the, the Spirit leads you, we don't want to put people in a box and set them up for failure so as the spirit leads you 
perhaps you are three days in three days out three days in three however the spirit leads you you fast you pray you meditate on the word you eat the word of god how the holy spirit gives it to you make means that you can achieve make vows that you know this one even though it's a sacrifice but i'm able to do it don't now say i'm going to dry fast no water no food for 20 days in the 80 days and then you fail somewhere when you could have vowed to do what you can the lord is the one who searches our hearts may the lord bless you may the lord keep you in the mighty name of jesus frank I'm so glad God spoke to you today. I am so glad. Family, thank you. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Till we meet again tomorrow, 5 a.m. Amen and amen. Shalom, shalom, family.